Hey, what's up guys? This is gonna be my live reaction of Bleach 658. Fatal Matters Are Cold. I have the Manga Panda translation up. I kind of have to keep it a little quiet for this one, but uh, let's see this. I want to see how this battle is going to commence and what Essen is going to do to these guys. So, why thank you. Now your Yatsu can no longer kill me. So, basically you started restating the beginning of last chapter as always. Your wounds, have they healed? But of course, is this fearless man invincible? And here's some cool art. And by raising the lethal dosage, I've become immune. Come now, I don't think you have the luxury of being shocked. After all, if you don't hurry, you'll all be killed without having left so much as a single scratch on me. Now I see uh, Yoroichi going after Askin, so let's see how this goes. And she goes into Shunko. And, oh no, that's Yushiro, okay, and he does his fire Shunko, he has wings now, that's really cool. And he's probably just gonna get his ass kicked, and he punches Askin, trying to probably do the same ability as last time, and it just doesn't work. Because Askin says, you simply don't get it, do you? I've already taken that head on earlier. And Yushiro's just like, fuck. <laughs> and gets three arrows to the back in the same point. So, I've acquired that immunity so okay so I think that kind of like specifies about his abilities because he said he acquired that immunity so he probably acquires immunities on ability basis so I mean if we got more abilities into this you know we could probably uh, defeat him but you know he's already taken the full brown both Shunko so they're kind of in trouble Yorichi runs to him with Askin not giving a fuck and Yushiro's just coughing up blood just as I suspected it took far too long to finally realize my true power. That's lethal. Fatal matters are cold. Shihoin Yurichi. Okay, that's interesting. And there is a huge long line of text. The flash gas caught the enemy's cage. A new color begins to surface. Impatience. Meanwhile, amongst the small, marrow, narrow, depleted houses, the shell lurks. And cool, we are coming back to Gerard. We're doing like a thing by, I like this like scene by scene, like going to different parts of the Soul Palace. It's kind of like Game of Thrones almost. I, I wish that Bleach would do this more often. But what the hell is with this monster? Oh, there's Hachi. Oh my God, the uh, fucking visors are here. That's cool. What the hell is with that monster? This probably means everyone had their asses handed to them. Must you always approach things with cup half empty attitude? Dude, Hachi's there. I love Hachi. He's like one of my favorite characters. And then something's happening, and Valkyrie is just destroying shit. The heart of the Soul King. Talk about a waste of my time. He's just destroying shit. Yeah, that is a waste of time, just destroying your ruler's palace, you know? I mean, I'm assuming he's probably just trying to flush out enemies. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing for the captain class fighters of the Gote 13 to be reduced down to this aesthetic. Showing before my might of my miracles, even your Ryatsu has grown so small it's barely registering on my radar. With this godlike body of mine, I suppose I have no choice but to search through this rubble for survivors. Which is exactly why I'm going to draw you out, just because it's daunting that you actually think that meant I wouldn't find you, making the possible possible that is the very definition of miracle. So this guy's monologuing, great. This, okay, so... We see, uh, oh my god, oh my god, Ron Car Mask! Fucking Ron Car Mask! We have not seen this thing since fucking, oh my god! We have not seen this since, what, the Aizen fight? I thought that, that, that fucking Kubo forgot about it, or they just, like, stopped using it because they're Shinigami now. But thank you! Thank you! Like, finally, someone! I, like, I, I, I still want, like, a definite answer on Ichigo with the mask, but, you know, whatever. This is little speech of yours is just going in one ear and right out the other, so all this incident babbling about you and your miracles, well, can you take them all and shove them right up your ass, Baldi? Dude, it, it, like, it's like the hair, it, like, like, she's aware of the fact, or Kubo's aware of the fact that all of his villains monologue, so they have the heroes just, like, call them out on that monologuing, you know, like, it's kind of funny. I have a full head of hair, thank you very much, I didn't mean that literally. Oh my god! Fucking tri-headed Sarah, oh my god! Fucking... 
time skip. That's all I'm saying. Time skip visors. <laughs> oh my god, that was the coolest scene that visor has ever been in. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, something of that caliber won't even face me. But yeah, you know, like when it comes down to it, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, all, my, all the visors are right on Valkyrie. All the visors are gonna take fucking Gerard out. Like Hachi's gonna get his fucking uh, square up or up fucking up on everywhere and he's oh my god they all have their masks their mask looks really cool i think they changed a little bit i can't really tell or well at least like maybe loves i don't know chocolate bar slider hifuke no god sushi bunch of japanese names i'm not even gonna try to pronounce dragonfly landing fire breathing mallet and just a bunch of shit to valkyrie boy he's just gonna be bigger <laughs> like what what do they expect and then hachi yeah and then he's just like fucking like it didn't do anything sigh at this rate i'm liable to die from boredom <laughs> honestly like that's how these characters are just kind of dying like you ha <laughs> and valkyrie i got it I, if i just lay waste the entire area, two birds, one stone. So we're gonna probably have some more characters coming out of nowhere, and that's some ice, and we definitely have fucking uh, what's his face, Hitsugaya here. Okay, let's see. Uh, come on, redeem yourself, Hitsugaya. We're judging from the Riatsu, Kiraku, and a handful of others should still be lingering around here somewhere, which means letting you flatten this entire area would be a direction of of duty. That's funny. <laughs> Dude, that outfit, yo, that's probably gonna be my thumbnail, like, I gotta, like, Hitsugaya Toshiro is back, that is, like, fucking badass, so, like, I know he had it before with, the, with Giselle, but still, so do me a favor and stay frozen there for an eternity, so that might be the thing that might break, it, like, that could help, but I don't know, like, Hitsugaya, like, it depends, like, how strong is he, plus, like, with my resurgery, now his life force is <laughs> cut by a third or something like that, so, like, what, what, what is he gonna do? He fucking lost to King, dude. Like, well, I mean, technically, I mean, he beat him, but, like, he kind of didn't. So, is that the end of the chapter? That is the end of the chapter. Well, that was a very straightforward and simple chapter. I mean, it only took me eight minutes to actually get through the reading portion, but I thought this was a pretty good chapter. I mean, I'm very happy with the fact that, that the Visors came back, because we were kind of like left hanging with them because i thought we were never gonna see them again like i thought that we were done with them i mean i mean for the most part and i'm really happy that they that we just saw this you know some visor action basically to you know that they still exist i'm very happy about the hollow masks because that's just been something that we haven't seen at all and you know i felt like that was such a big thing you know, in Bleach, and we didn't even see that, you know, mechanic, you know, so either way, and then, like, of course, Hitsugaya at the end, which is cool, I mean, very cool outfit, but I'm really, like, I don't see how these, these guys, like, they don't have a plan to defeat this guy, because from what we know, he's invincible right now, so, like, do we need a god-slaying object, you know, or do we need to do some hado shit? Or just maybe overload him. Like, that's kind of one of what I'm thinking with Askin. Like, how we defeat these enemies that you can't exactly do normal damage to. You have to maybe overload them with damage. Or possibly, you know, like something with per Pernida. Because, like, I think Pernida might be the biggest example of, like, the, uh, of how we're going to have to defeat these guys. You know, not normal tactics. Uh, because these guys are way too hard. You know, all of, like, he, her, Gerald has taken on, like, 10 plus Shinigami at this point and just kicked all of their asses like I mean Hitsugaya is going to do something and then of course uh, his vice captain we haven't seen her Bankai yet so and it's been hinted I think that she has a Bankai by Kubo in an interview but so that would be cool if we got to see that of course if we could see any of the Visor's Bankais if they have them and honestly, that's probably all I'm going to be hoping for. Of course, I want to see what concludes with Askin. I really hope that Kubo stays with these two fights instead of going off to, like, something else. Because I feel like that would be too much for a manga format. Maybe in, like, a, the anime that would probably work. But, like, not in this manga format. I think that would be way too much. 
for just like 18 pages but either way i'm gonna go get to editing this and going to sleep because it's like 7 a.m and i hope you guys have a good day and thank you for watching my videos like i've been getting some very good view amounts on my videos that like i mean that just gives me encouragement to keep making videos for you guys so please comment below what you guys want to see next like would you like to see the gerard fight next would you like to see the askin fight next you know like just what do you want to see with what's gonna happen because i feel like bleach is such an open book like i can't really predict what's gonna happen at this point so either way have a good day and see you guys later